Okay, I'm going to add the next piece now. Um, I've got two of the words coming out, and now I'm going to add the third word. But this gives me a chance to show a few more things. Um, in this animation, I'm going to need more regular frames. So I'm going to go out here and highlight these three frames like that. And then I will just hit F5, which will add frames to the movie. Now, I'll go to the top layer. I'm going to add a new layer and it's time to add the next piece. So I'm going to put a keyframe here. F6 on my keyboard adds a keyframe or you could just right click insert keyframe. And now I'm going to add the next graphic. Okay, in the library we find it. There it is, ink. And I'll just drag it out. Drop it on the stage. And I'm going to put it where I want it to be. Okay. All right, let's see here. All right, that looks good. There is one problem, and that is that what I pretty much want is this bar to be hovering above these words. That's an easy fix. All I have to do is drag this layer to the top and let go and now this this bar is going to hover above so now I can put this down and into position I can compare it to the other graphic how close it is how far it is that looks about right okay and so that's gonna happen right here so now I will go out let's see here I'm on 44 or I can check my frame number nope 45 there it says right there 45 so I'll go over to 55 and I will put a keyframe F6 so that's where we're gonna end up but now on this frame I want to do an animation so uh, I'm on this layer here if I want to and I'm afraid that I'm gonna mess up the other layers I can lock the other layers in place so I don't mess them up. I can turn the eyeballs on and off to see what objects they are on the stage before I lock them. Okay, I know I'm good. So now, insert motion tween. Now, on this frame, I want it to actually stay here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the object. I'm going to right-click a key on the keyboard and then left and left click key on the keyboard and that establishes the um, like sub keyframe anchor point for that animation so now even though there's an animation from 45 to 55 it's really not moving at all so what I can do now is go back to the previous frame right here and now I can arrow this using the arrows on my keyboard holding down the shift key to move five pixels at a time I can move them off screen so there it is off screen and I also want to add easing basically so I'll add easing which will slow it down in the motion and so now I have the flies in edge and then ink also flies in and I finished the first part of my animation okay I'm not done yet I have to create a new layer and in the library you'll see that I have another graphic uh, manufactured and so I've made a new layer and I want that to show up here at the end somewhere so I will uh, on this new layer that I created I will put a keyframe right click insert keyframe and then library and drag it out onto the stage and it's pretty much it's very dark so it's not very noticeable um, that could be a problem but I need to just make sure that I get it in place so after the last piece um, flies in the manufactured logo at the bottom shows up and it matches fairly close to where the logo is on the graphic so what I can do, I can show you one other type of motion tween, and this is a good one, and that is a fade-in. So let's do that. So this graphic 
shows up here and what I'll do is I'll add a keyframe let's say I add it right here right click insert keyframe then I'll go back to this first frame All right so now I have two keyframes the same object go to the first frame insert motion tween that controls the motion tween from this point to this point I'll go to the end point here and remember I want it to just stay right there so what I'm going to do is I'll just select it and then I will using the arrows on the keyboard move it to the right one and then back one and that establishes kind of this anchor point at the end and keeps it in position and, and then what I'll do is, is over here well on the first keyframe what I'll do is select it and what I want to do is I want to do a color effect on it so I'm going to select it and color effect alpha and that takes it to zero so let me zoom in so you can see that so you can see here that it's it's alpha at zero and then back on the next keyframe so I'm going to select it with the selection tool and make sure the alpha is at 100 and I should get a fade in now of the graphic so that it fades in from 0 to 100 on the alpha and once again I had the tween in place to do it but what I did was is I on the first keyframe I selected it and set the alpha under color effect I set it to alpha 0 and then on the anchor point at the end of the animation selected it and set the alpha to 100 percent and now it fades in I set this back into fit and window okay now that I have all of these pieces in place and they've animated into the stage uh, and are existing here what I could do is possibly um, have them stand out from the stage by putting a filter on them so what I'm going to do is I will basically I'm going to highlight all these frames right here and I'll hit F6 to add a keyframe so now I have a keyframe for all of these objects right and you can only tell some of them only some of them highlighted because that's because I've got locked layers but I'll unlock the layers and you'll see that now you can see that all of the objects I have access to all of them if I highlight all of them you see they all get selected and now what I could do um, quite simply is I could take some of these objects and I could have them um, fade in to a possible glow situation so let's see if we could do that what I'll do is is I will take another keyframe let's say here I'll highlight all these and also hit F6 to add keyframes to all of them and then what I'll do is let's try it with just one of them so with this with the what I'll do is I'll say insert motion tween I'll go to the last frame here right last frame and what I'm gonna do is I'll select the object and I'm gonna go here to filters and I'll click on filters and I'll say glow right and you can see right off the bat that adds this like red glow now you're gonna need to blur it a little bit farther let's say to like you know I'll blur it out to let's say 20 pixels and I'll change the color to kind of like a light yellow right and I'll change the strength to 125 right quality to medium and you can see now that I have this outer glow on the object it also placed an anchor to my motion tween and so now it doesn't happen immediately it actually fades in on the first keyframe unfortunately the glow was set to red so I need to change that to that light yellowish color so that as the glow expands so does um, you know the color stays the same and doesn't change from red to yellow and now what I might want to do is do that for all of the text 
So now I'll go to the next layer for the edge and I'll do the same thing. 